Increasing interaction between humans and wildlife is leading to a rise in the transmission of diseases. This from Professor of Environmental Science and Health at Emory University, Dr. Thomas Gillespie. He was speaking at the Ministry of Planning and Development's webinar today on the role of ecosystems and the mitigation and management of COVID-19 and other zoonoses. Diseases transmissible from animals to humans through direct contact or through food, water and the environment are commonly referred to as zoonoses. What we know very well now is that it's not the it's not these animals, the wildlife, that's the problem. It's how we're changing our interactions with that wildlife. And so that's, that's the key to uh, having fewer of these events in the future. Uh, it's also important to recognize that the highest risk of future disease emergence events is in the tropics. Zoonosis represents 60% of all emerging infectious diseases, and Dr. Gillespie said the diseases are not being spread by domesticated animals but by wildlife, and added that 71.8% of zoonotic diseases originate from wildlife. And if we have areas that are not protected, where people end up using them in many different ways, um, people are entering for access to fuel wood, for um, for illicit hunting activities, um, all of these types of um, intrusions can lead to novel exposure, as well as uh, increasing the transmission of these chronic pathogens that are often uh, missed during diagnostics. According to the Ministry of Planning and Development, the interface shared among humans, animals, and the environment has been a source of diseases impacting public health. This has therefore led to rising international concern about zoonotic origins of many pandemics.